What is blood pressure? And why is it important? Plus, how does our body maintain blood pressure? Well, in this video, we will go through all three of those questions. Um, so another special function of the kidneys is, besides filtration, is to maintain blood pressure. And this is through a process called the renin-angiotensin system. Renin-angiotensin 2 system, to be specific. First, blood pressure is defined as the pressure of blood as it is applied to the walls of blood vessels when the heart contracts. Blood pressure is important to homeostasis in the body, or balance, because it helps the body, one, maintain temperature, and two, proper delivery of nutrients to the body. So how does this work? Well, let's start with the kidneys. The kidneys depend solely on blood pressure for helping it filter blood. So the kidneys conveniently control one of the switches, so to speak, of lowering or raising the blood pressure. So step one, when the blood pressure is low, the kidneys release a substance called renin. Step two, renin causes the production of a chemical known as angiotensin II through this cascade of reactions. And in step three, angiotensin II causes the constriction of blood vessels. So I will put an arrow where by constriction means the lessening of the diameter in the blood vessels. And when the blood vessels are constricted, the blood pressure rises. Another gland actually helps out. This is called the adrenal gland. In this process, the adrenal cortex, right here, on the outside of the adrenal gland, releases a substance called aldosterone in the presence of angiotensin II. And this substance increases sodium reabsorption in the body. And what that does is also increases water reabsorption because where salt goes, water would like to go. And when water is reabsorbed, we therefore can increase blood pressure. And finally, one last method ensuring proper maintenance of blood pressure involves the brain. When there is a low blood volume, the pituitary gland is notified, and this produces a substance called antidiuretic hormone, or ADH. ADH acts upon the collecting duct in the kidneys, making it impermeable to water. And therefore, if the water is now allowed to be reabsorbed back into the body, this increases the blood volume and therefore restoring adequate blood pressure. For example, if you just performed some serious exercise such as a five mile run, um, your body will have lost a lot of, of water. And so it, your body will react by releasing ADH and um, this will c increase the reabsorption of water therefore replacing the lost water back into your bloodstream and in cells. So in summary, when you think of blood pressure, think of this army of hormones from all different parts of the body, specifically the result of renin-angiotensin II system provoked by the kidneys and aldosterone provoked by the uh, adrenal cortex and ADH released by the pituitary gland.